channel. Uh, long time no talk, I know, but we're back and hopefully we're gonna be uploading maybe once, two times max a week because I just don't have the energy for it. So in case you can't tell by the title of this video or you didn't see the video I posted before this, by the way, if you hear jets, I'm sorry, I live right next to an airfield and they're deciding to do exercises right when I'm trying to film a video. But if you haven't seen that yet and read the title of this video, we're pregnant with twins. Um, yes, two babies. Yes, uh, still kind of processing that, that we're gonna have two newborns and a almost two and a half year old. Um, yeah, big surprise, twins don't run in my family. It's kind of random, but uh, we got gifted with twins and we're super excited about it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the symptoms. So before I found out I was pregnant, I really had no idea. Um, I was just kind of taking pregnancy tests a lot, hoping they would be positive, but I was so used to them being negative that I was not expecting anything. But I went ahead and I took one of the, um, like, you buy a big box of them on Amazon for kind of cheap and it's the little strip that you dip in and then you just wait to see if like a second line appears. It's not like a test, it's like a little strip. And they're really hard to read. And out of, I forgot about it for like 20 minutes and I go back and I look at it and I, is that a line or is that the test? And I couldn't really tell. And I send a picture to my friend Angela, the Puccini family. I've, we've done stuff with her. I linked her videos all the time. I'll link her channel up here too. And um, yeah, she goes, you're pregnant. I said, no, I'm not. She goes, yes, you are. And I said, there's no way I'm pregnant. We tried for months last year, nothing happened. And then we try for less than a month and it happens this time. And so then I took a clear blue uh, digital test that says like pregnant or not pregnant and it said pregnant and I took a first response test and I got two lines and um, my mind just kind of went boom. <laughs> uh, so yeah, then when I went into the doctor, they confirmed I was pregnant. I made my dating ultrasound appointment because at the Naval Hospital I'm being seen at, you have to um, go in, get blood, blah, 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 get blood work done pee in a cup and then they call you and tell you if you're pregnant or not even though you know if you are or not but they do that just to make sure and I have my dating ultrasound around nine weeks and I went in and it was a transvaginal ultrasound just because you, know, you can't really like see the baby through an abdominal one at that age or point or whatever and the lady that I'm seeing the midwife is kind of like you know turning the little ultrasound wand around and she goes do you see what I see and I say yeah baby and she goes no there's two and uh Owen wasn't there so I couldn't tell him I didn't want to tell him over text uh couldn't tell anybody and it was I was just kind of shocked I sat there and said shut up no there's not she goes yeah there is see and she just moves it and there's two babies and I almost oh, messing with my pillows I almost just like my mind just <laughs> twins don't run in the family twins are random very excited to see the genders of these to see if it's fraternal or identical when they're born um yeah so twins um yeah the knowledge at this time around was way worse uh after i found out i was pregnant about a week and a half two weeks after i found out i was pregnant the nausea set in and it was really bad um really bad like hours in the morning where i just had to like wake up before jr would wake up and sit in bed and a trick i had figured out was the cliff bars. Uh, one of the reasons you can be nauseous in the morning is if you're protein deficient or if you don't eat enough right before bed. So I would go ahead and I would have either one of these or my two favorites, the blueberry crisp and the oatmeal raisin walnut. I would keep one of these on my bedside table and I would have a few bites before I go to bed. And then when it, as soon as I woke up, I would eat like half of the bar and I would drink some water and it would normally help for the whole entire day, my nausea. Um, it would come back mostly at nighttime after that, uh, and it was just kind of like, you know, you are so nauseous, you don't want to eat, but then when you don't eat, you get nauseous, and it's just a horrible cycle, it just keeps going. So I definitely recommend this trick if you haven't tried it, because I tried preggy pop drops and all that kind of stuff when I was pregnant with JR, and I didn't feel like waiting on Amazon for it. So yes, I would definitely try the Cliff Bars or like a peanut butter sandwich next to your bed in the morning. I just can't do like peanut butter and bread right now. It just doesn't sound good. And yes, as far as um, like things I can't be around is raw meat. Ooh, we used to cook 
oh my gosh, like 99% of the time we were cooking our meals at home. And recently we've been eating out for way too many meals um, because I get very nauseous right now with food prep. It's starting to go down. Like I made French toast for JR this morning, like small stuff I can do, but uh, like as far as raw meat and like cooking and stuff, the whole preparation makes me absolutely sick to my stomach. So I haven't been able to cook recently, which sucks because I enjoy cooking. I enjoy having like good leftovers for lunches. So hopefully we get over that point soon. I do think that like we're really getting close to like getting over the nausea at this point. Um, but yeah. So when they found out I was having twins, I got put on a whole new vitamin regime. regime. If you have had twins or someone you know has had twins, and you know if they took this many pills, you need to let me know because I've talked to some twin moms and they say they've taken this many. I talked to some twin moms and they say they've only taken a regular prenatal. All my blood work came back fine and I eat fine, so I don't know why, but um, I take yes, the uh, I take a three calcium and vitamin D and one prenatal. I'm gonna take two of these and five of these in the later trimesters. I take those at night because those make me nauseous, so I take those right before I go to bed. I take a folic acid, a vitamin E, a magnesium, which I'll have to take two of in the second and third trimester, and a stool softener because these vitamins have got me uh, concentrated for like a good week. And yeah, so I take a bunch of pills every day, seven or eight pills a day. Um, I'm getting used to it, but at the beginning, I like threw them all up immediately every single time. So we're working on it, spacing them out, taking them like before naps, before sleep, because I usually take a nap right now. JR is asleep. I usually take a nap right now, but like I said, we're getting over the nausea. I'm getting a little bit more energy back and I haven't uploaded a video. I haven't talked to you guys in forever and I really wanted to get a video up. So I'm gonna try and film maybe two three if I'm pushing it videos today. Uh, yeah. Vitamins are not fun. When I was pregnant with JR, all I did was one of these every day for every trimester. So there's a lot of differences between the twin of pregnancy and a singleton so far. As far as baby hauls come, there will be one coming up. Um, it's mostly big stuff that we got when we got our tax return, which we got like right after we found out we were pregnant. So we went ahead and jumped on it and got like the double stroller, the car seat, the bassinet. We got him a toddler bed so we could have the crib for the new baby and uh, now we need two of everything. So we're working on that. Um, but there will be a baby haul coming up soon. I just have to get around to filming it. I might do it today. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll be up next week. Maybe it'll be up in a few days. I was doing really good at uploading. Oh, excuse me. I have hiccups. I was doing really good at uploading three times a week but with the nausea and the no energy I've had recently I just haven't had time to even like film anything I haven't even had time to like pick up the camera and vlog so I'm apologizing for not having any videos up but I do promise to have at least one up a week um maybe two I'm trying to not push myself but I am trying to make sure I stay up to date with my YouTube we hit over 200 subscribers uh, during this little break I've had, so thank you so much. I cannot believe I have 200 subscribers. Um, it's been a while since I started my channel, but I'm really, really thankful. So thank you for subscribing to my channel and staying tuned to our journey. This journey is getting crazier. There's going to be two more babies on the way, so there'll be a lot more pregnancy updates, a lot more baby hauls. Regardless of whether it's two boys, two girls, or a boy and a girl, I'm gonna have to get so many clothes that I, like coordinate or match for the twins so I can take all these cute pictures. And then I have to find like an older outfit so that JR can match with them. Oh, it's just gonna be clothes galore, especially if it's a girl. Oh, I'm getting everything glitter, tutu, pink dresses, all of it. Ruffled little joggers for little girls. They have ruffles on the butts. Did you know that? I'm going to get every single color and every single size if I'm having girls. I'd like a boy and a girl. That's like ideal. Nolan has a feeling it's identical twin boys, but the chances of um, like in twin pregnancies of it being identical versus fraternal, it's like two out of three is fraternal. One out of three is the identical. So we'll see. I have been having dreams constantly about 
the genders. I have dreams where it's both boys. I have dreams where it's a boy and a girl. I have yet to have a dream where it's two girls. I had very odd dreams when I was pregnant with JR, but they were like horrors, like nightmares about Nolan and about me and about the baby. And was, those were bad, but so far, no really bad nightmares. Um, it probably helps that Nolan's not leaving and going underway and going on the ship all the time now he's going to be here with me for the whole pregnancy he gets ma uh, paternal leave is that what it's called yeah paternal leave for 21 days it's not much considering girls in the navy get four months a third of a year 21 days i feel like they should at least get a month but whatever 21 days i'll take it he has leave like built up so He'll be here, he'll be able to help. He missed the newborn stage with JR. He didn't get back till he was three months old. So, um, and this time I don't have to like, com like completely share my little baby all the time. Like there'll be one I can be holding, one he can be holding. And Nolan's mother is actually coming to help us, which is gonna be so awesome because I know I'm gonna need the help. Uh, we already wanted her to come when we found out we were pregnant. But once we found out we were having twins, uh, yeah, the, we're gonna need more and more help. So. I think that's it. The prenatals, the morning nausea. Oh, I'll show you a picture of the belly bump, um, like at the end of the video. Um, I bop, blah, blah, blah. I didn't really notice my body changing. I've lost five pounds since I found out I was pregnant. Um, but I gained way too much weight with JR. So as long as I gain the weight, like later on in pregnancy, it's no big deal. But, uh, I lost my train of thought because I'm pregnant and this is already happening. Where was I? Oh, I popped out like two days ago. I was on FaceTime with my mom and I think I had the phone like propped up on his crib and I was like grabbing him like shorts or something. And she goes, oh my God, you're huge. And like, I even had like a loose t-shirt of Nolan's on and she could see the bumps. So we're getting there. Today was my first time I wore my maternity shorts from the last time I was pregnant with JR. I'm super bummed out that Liz Lang maternity isn't being sold at Target anymore and I can't even find it on Amazon. So let me know your favorite maternity brands. That was my favorite brand. That's the brand of jean short I wore today. That's my favorite brand of maternity leggings I had. So uh, super bummed about that. But I did have my mom, my mom bought me a pair of over the belly um, active wear, uh, regular and ones that have mesh insert panels on the legs from Target from the Champion brand and a pair of the maternity champion Target like running shorts and a pair of black shorts that have like crossover like that like crossover like inserted panels that like stretch on the sides like above the pockets. I've never had that before. I'm super excited to try that. I'm not really a fan of like the over the belly once you get like past the second trimester just because my belly got so big last time and with twins it's probably going to get bigger have i mentioned how far along i am now i hope you're like keeping up with me through this video it's completely i have so much to tell you i haven't talked to you guys in so long and pregnancy brain is all over the place but i am 11 weeks today um the due date is october 17th but your first milestone of twins is 35 weeks i'm 36 37 and 38 is usually like the latest to let you stay pregnant because of like uh, baby transfusion or whatever and breaking ribs and all that kind of crazy stuff. So uh, most likely the twins will be born late September, maybe, maybe early October, like extremely like the first three days if they make it that far. But um, I have a feeling they'll be born around like 37 weeks because even JR was born in the 38th week and that was like a full term 40 week kind of like single term pregnancy. So 11 weeks. Yes, I'm trying. Something that's really hard for me is drinking enough water. I went to the commissary today and instead of like drinking like bottles, I went ahead and I bought like one gallon sized bottle so I can like maybe fill it up with my um, like Brita or whatever and I'm gonna try and drink a gallon a day. I know that's what you're supposed to do. I definitely don't get enough water in. I drink other drinks that have water in it, uh, but I do need to drink just more plain water working on it. It made me kind of nauseous in the beginning of my pregnancy. So yeah, we'll see. But I think that's it. Um, I will be doing more pregnancy update videos. Uh, let me know how often you want to see them in the comments. Um, every like month, every two weeks, every trimester. I don't know. Just tell me what you want. Um, I don't want to put too many out or not put enough out. Um, I'm really curious to see how this pregnancy is going to go because it's completely different than my first pregnancy considering there's two babies and not one. Still can't believe I'm having twins. Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, keep an eye out for the baby haul that's going to be coming up. Keep an eye out for vlogs. Hopefully I can get a few of those up sometime. And yeah, thanks for sticking around while I was taking a break. Thanks for not unsubscribing. I still can't believe we hit 200 subscribers. Thank you again. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, stick around. We've got a crazy life and it's just gotten a little bit more crazy. So um, yeah, talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.